Kelsey Brennan Wessels for ESA Web TV, and today we join you from Catania on the Italian island of Sicily, home to ESA astronaut Luca Parmitano. Now, Luca has been assigned a mission to the International Space Station in 2019. This will be his second time in space. During the last time in 2013, he conducted over 20 scientific experiments, many of which were performed in the Columbus Laboratory. This year marks the 10th anniversary of Columbus in orbit. The state-of-the-art laboratory is ESA's largest single contribution to the International Space Station, containing an entire suite of research equipment that offers European scientists full access to a weightless environment that cannot possibly be duplicated on Earth. While a dedicated committee is responsible for choosing which experiments are undertaken, astronauts also get their say. Luca tells us more. Let's take a look. Part of the experiments um, require us to be part of the experiments and for that uh, we actually go through uh, something that we like to call the speed dating. It's, it's an inter interesting process where the principal investigator uh, will sit in front of the astronauts that, that is uh, getting ready to fly and has uh, about five minutes to present the main points of the experiment and convince the astronauts to participate in the experiment. Those experiments are usually human research. Uh, and the reason why the astronauts has to agree is because it, involve, uh, it involves us and so we have to have an idea of what, what, will, what will it take while we are in orbit. Does it entail uh, being prodded, does it entail wearing something, does it entail uh, blood draws and such things. And that's why uh, we have this speed dating process. It's actually interesting because in about four hours we are uh, presented with several dozens of different experiments. So of course your experiments for your next mission have not been selected yet, but what about your past mission? What were some of the experiments that you participated in? The experiments for which I sent out were all interesting, incredibly interesting, especially the ones that we perform in Columbus. Columbus is the main research uh, center for for human um, for human physiology. Uh, we do uh, a lot of experiments using an ultrasound machine that is installed in Columbus. And so one of the experiments that I signed up for was called um, uh, Spinal. And what we did, we demonstrated that we could use a, a very simple ultrasound machine to take very accurate pictures of the spine. And until that moment, we, we believed that only with an MRI you could get uh, enough detail. And instead we demonstrated that the software and even just an operator that is not specialized could take enough, uh, you know, could perform the imaging in such a way that it can be used in a diagnosis. And that same, uh, that, that, that same protocol that we developed while we were in orbit is right now being used in remote areas uh, in order to do diagnosis uh, on spine injury. This is an, an amazing result because otherwise let's say if you are in the Arctic or if you are in remote areas in the jungle uh, or in the mountains, it would be impossible to carry an MRI. And in case of accident, uh, now all you need is a smaller MRI machine about the size of a laptop and you can do an immediate diagnosis uh, remotely where some doctor on the other side of the earth sees the images right away, can direct an operator to move, move his hand and, and, and uh, find uh, the area that needs to be scanned and, and, we can, and we can do that. So that was a fantastic experiment. Another one that I, that I participated in that took part in, in Columbus partially uh, is, uh, was an experiment about dieting uh, to study what kind of uh, balance of, of uh, protein and potassium would give the least loss of calcium in the body. Uh, when you lose calcium from your bones is osteoporosis. Uh, in orbit, we are, we are in a state of accelerated osteoporosis and so it's really easy for us to study certain markers uh, uh, that, that are present in our urines and urine and blood uh, in case of, in case of, of uh, uh, calcium loss. Uh, so I signed up for this experiment and um, in Columbus we would uh, pre prep the blood, we would centrifuge it and then uh, uh, put it in bios in order, in order to freeze it and bring it, and bring it down uh, to earth. And finally, um, in Columbus is a place where we do tonometry experiments. So we have a little, a little tonometer which is a, like a small pen with, that we tap on the eye to, uh, to measure the pressure inside the eyeball. This is important because uh, when you are in orbit, because of the fluid shift, the, uh, there are lots of different effects that create pressure around the, the bulb. This may change vision. 
and by studying what happens to the vision in orbit to astronauts we are able to actually prevent some of those effects to happen on the ground and that is also an experiment that we do in Columbus. <laughs>
I certainly wanted to be an astronaut. I never really thought I'd be an astronaut. I always considered it more of a dream rather than something that, that would actually happen. But um, you, you have to think that this is uh, Sicily. It's far away from the big institution, from the big cities. Although Catania is relatively big, we are really far away from, from everything. And so uh, for me, it was, uh, it, it was really uh, sub something of a dream. And, uh, and it still sort of is amazing to me that, that, I, that here I am, uh, you know, 40 years later, actually living, living that dream. Do you have a message for the young dreamers of today? Well, I certainly do. Uh, first of all, I hope that there are many dreamers out there. Uh, dreams are important, uh, they, and they, they have to be considered dreams. Uh, what I mean by that is that to me, a dream is to be basically uh, impossible. And and all to, to have those dreams is important because they give us energy, they give us direction, they give us light. But then to focus everyday light on, uh, on projects, on something that we can actually realize. And that is what gives us satisfaction during, uh, during our life.